This is this is very exciting. Yes. Very, have you spoken to Reverend Dansby yet? Uh, yeah, I just told him that we wanted to meet him here. I didn't say why, because I wanted to see the look on his face when we tell him. Oh, I hope he'll be happy. And yes. Hi. 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 So much for coming here so quickly, partner. Oh, listen, when I heard what you two were planning, I flew. Uh, it's a terrific idea. Yeah, it's like Reverend Dansby said. When something bad happens, people have to come together trying to make something good come out of it. Well, the right. hospital board's behind it 100 percent. So is the staff, and we've got a big, long list of volunteers. And any legal work? Contracts, work orders, filing fees. Will be handled gratis by Hughes, Griffin, and Eldridge. Great. I mean, with support like this, project's got to take off. You betcha. Well. I really agree with you. The timing is right. We've had, uh, I think we're going to have plenty of people rallying around this cause. We've had all the meetings. We've had the concerts. We've said all the right things. It's time for us to get busy and put all those good intentions to work. Yes, that fire really brought me down. But it would be a blessing if we could build something positive out of it. We will. I promise you that. Man, is there something wrong? Is somebody ill? I got here as soon as I could. Everything is fine, Reverend. Couldn't be better. Well, what's going on? Why are you all here? Now, good news, Reverend. We are forming a community action group to raise money and volunteer support for a project that is very near and dear to our hearts. We want to help you rebuild the Milltown Baptist Church. <laughs> no, come back here. Come back here. Sit down. Listen to me. So you're going to barge in on Hal's vacation and tell him that you deliberately disobeyed a direct order. Now, do you want to commit professional suicide? I've got to get him to authorize planning a bug in Teague's house and on his phone. This tape will do it. Teague's all but confessed he's good for that church fire. Hal told you to stay away from Teague. Oh, no, come on. And Hal is going to slap the top of your head when he finds out that you've been mixed up in a case that he told you directly to stay away okay, from. Okay, I'm willing to take the heat. If that means Holden's finally off the hook and that racist pig is put behind bars. And are you willing to be brought up on charges? Are you willing to be kicked off the force? That's not gonna happen. Oh, yes, it is. Who are you talking to? They did it to me. Look, Jack, there's got to be a better way. I don't think so. Well, I do. I'll talk to him. Marco, I got myself into this. I'll get myself out of it. Oh, you think so? Look, the way this is gonna work is if I tell Hal that I ran the scam. <laughs> well, how are you going to convince him of that? I play on the tape. Marco, I'm on the tape. You're not. As Jake. There's no way he's going to recognize your other voice. So you're going to lie to Hell? Sure. Come on, Hell can make a voice print better than anyone on the force. You know that. And no offense. No. No, I've got to face the music sooner or later. I might as well be sooner. Hell's going to get you. What does Hell want more than anything else? justice to see the justice is served. Good. Then he's gonna go for it. He's got to go for it. Holden's life depends on it. Holden is going to marry Molly? It's the only way. But why? The prosecution is gonna force her to testify against him anyway. Marrying him is not going to change that. No, but it will change what she says on the stand. Well, she better not perjure herself. Are you aware of who the new DA no, is? No, no, no. Don't worry. The only way Molly will perjure herself is if Holden doesn't marry her. Then she will get on the stand, she will lie, and that would be perjury. So what about you? Did you agree to this unholy alliance? I convinced Holden that he had to do it. He didn't want to, but he's not going to go to prison. No matter what Molly testifies, we are not out of the woods. There is still the physical I, evidence. I know, I know, the skin under Molly's fingernails. We have to find that videotape. I'm sure it proves that Holden got those scratches before the night of the fire. So what if my office has already been through every production house in this town with a fine-tooth comb? Wait, wait, just remember now, Molly is living with Holden. As soon as he gets a chance, he's going to look through her things. Maybe he'll find it. No such luck, I'm afraid. Oh. Ben? Excuse me, the reporters are here. Yeah, um... Right away, Reverend. Okay. Are you and Ben back together again? No, but we're talking, at least a little bit. I asked him if there's a chance. And? Well, he didn't say yes, but he didn't say no. So, all right, well, what are you going to do? Well, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go for it. Right. <laughs> he's okay. He, he supports this project. He's, he wants it to succeed. I hate to seem cynical, but just holding showing up here is going to guarantee your front page coverage. Well, the reporters had a feeding frenzy, that's for sure. I just wish they put the same energy into helping the police find whoever really started that fire. You know, just between you and me, you're not going to need them because the department's on it. Really? Yeah, it's just a matter of time. The creep is still out there, and we're going to get him. <laughs>